Hello everyone and welcome to our new show, Ronin's True Chess History. Well, I hope that I'm Ronin, uh, Grandmaster Indiana Jones on ICC, Ronin Hartley. And after doing opening service for, well, quite some years, it's time for something a little bit different. And I thought that an interesting idea would be to really take the most important chess-wise, historical-wise played in the 20th century, maybe we will go even be before that at some point, and, well, review them, the stories, the moves, whatever we can study and enjoy them. The first game that I've chosen, which actually, to be honest, has to be two games. My favorite game is going to be the second one, because there has to be an intro to show the next game, and this is actually the intro. A big game, Karpov Kasparov, game number 24 in their 1985, technically the second world championship that they've played. Both of the players don't need much of an introduction. Kasparov became uh, clearly uh, the challenger, or everyone knew that he is going to be that one already in the very early 80s when he was 17, let's say 1980, was already clear he's the one. Karpov being world champion. From 1975, Fischer didn't show up to the game, but fair and square, it was clear that he is the best player in the world, winning most tournaments in history. They first played their match in 1984, that very uh, famous match, not just for the chess point of it, but mainly by the match being stopped by FIDE president at that time, Campomanes. After technically... Karpov was on the verge of both physical and mental collapse. Uh, to clarify a bit more, while in 1985 the World Championship match was the best out of 24. Simply 24 games, Karpov is the World Champion, 12-12, Karpov remains the World Champion, 12 and a half for Kasparov or above, and there is a new World Champion. The World Championship before that was the first one to achieve six games. That was the 1984-85 World Championship match. Make it short, after the first nine games, Karpov, the world champion, already won four games. Absolutely sensational. Like, uh, there were even stories about some of his people coming to Kasparov people and telling them, well, let's stop the match right now. Obviously, Kasparov will be a world champion, but he's not prepared. Why, why should he embarrass himself? And let's stop the match right now. Well, what happened? Kasparov declined this very polite offer, whether it was or not, at least many rumors and stories about that, and played a little bit more careful. The result was 17 draws in a row from game number 10 to game number 26, where in game number 27 with the white pieces, Karpov managed to win Another game, 5-0 for Karpov. Already 27 games were played. Well, make it short once again, because we can have one hour just discussing that story. Karpov couldn't win one more game uh, to the entire match. He was on the verge of collapsing after losing games 47 and 48. And the way that he lost them was pretty much shocking, uh, missing simple tactics. It was just clear that just too much. Playing such a long game, which lasted many months over that long of a period, was, well, had its toll. For everyone, the thinking the chess is just, well, you come, see it, move tiny bit, the pieces, and then you have full energy. Well, playing long-term, long-time control games, long matches, is a different world. The match was stopped in a very controversial story, only to be resumed later this year. Well, Kasparov was much better prepared for the match that we are seeing right now. He won the first game, actually lost games number four and five. Karpov blundered heavily in game 11. We came to the last game of that match, game number 24. Kasparov is leading 5-0. 